This is your CBS 46 News update brought to you by West Shore Home. Good Monday afternoon. I'm Karen Greer, Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger holding a press conference this morning to update the Georgia recount. He says his office is investigating several third party groups working to register people in other states to vote here in Georgia. Secretary of State emphasizing casting an illegal vote in Georgia is a felony. The deadline for Georgia's recount is midnight Wednesday and Fulton County election officials are dealing with a server crash. This happened over the weekend while staffers continued the Georgia recount over the holiday weekend. A newly purchased Dominion mobile server went down and that crash halted the recount. But officials say technicians are resolving the issue and the recount will continue today. Now turning to the coronavirus numbers, the nation seeing over 13 million cases and as of yesterday, 143,000 new cases nationwide. There are also more than 1,200 deaths. In Georgia, nearly 2,000 new cases have been reported, and the state's new death toll is close to 9,000. Georgia Governor Brian Kemp will host a virtual roundtable discussion today to begin the conversation on who will receive the COVID-19 vaccine first. Every age group is affected, but nursing home populations have really been hit the hardest. And today, in case you didn't know it, is Cyber Monday. Experts say online sales could be up 35% over last year, thanks to the coronavirus pandemic. Our Better Call Harry says compare prices, though, with other sites. Check on shipping and look for promo codes for the best deals possible. All right, let's switch gears and talk about your weather. It is cool out there. Ella Dorsey with Atlanta's most accurate weather team tracking some snow. Yeah, bitter cold moving in. It's cold, it's windy, it's cloudy, and we are going to see some snow showers to the north of the city later on today. This is mainly going to be in the higher elevations of the North Georgia mountains from Pickens County up through Gilmer County, Fannin County, Union County as well. The Calhuta Wilderness area likely to see a light coating of snow anywhere from just a coating to an inch is likely again above 2000 feet. Western Fannin County, though, could see two to three inches of snow. For the rest of us, temperatures fall into the 30s around 5 p.m. with feels like temperatures in the teens through the evening with that wind continuing overnight. It's going to be a frigid night with morning lows in the mid to upper 20s. And even though sunshine returns tomorrow, it's going to be frigid. It's going to be windy and it's still going to be very cold with highs only in the 40s. We'll rebound back into the low 50s through the end of the week, but it still say, stays unseasonably cold through the weekend. This has been your personal news update from CBS 46 News brought to you by West Shore Home, Atlanta's one day bath remodeler.